Let's talk about um, the alleged Russian hacking of the DNC. Mr. Trump says he knows things that other people don't. What will he be revealing to the American public on Tuesday or Wednesday? Well, it's not a question of necessarily revealing. Remember, the president-elect is privy to a lot of uh, classified information, intelligence reports. He gets briefed by his national security team on a daily basis. So as president-elect, he is privy to information that most people aren't, and he is able to understand uh, what the intelligence is and draw conclusions from that. But one thing I think is missing from this discussion, Allison, yeah. is that this report that everyone yeah. keeps talking about is not final. The president, the current uh -huh. president of the United States hasn't seen a final report. Yeah. The intelligence community is talking about wrapping it up later this week. So for anybody to be going out and talking about what's in the report, yeah. it's not final yet. And I think that the idea that we're jumping to yeah. conclusions before we have a final report is frankly irresponsible. Yeah. I mean, I said alleged hacking, but my, I want to get back to my question. It's Mr. Trump who said he's going to reveal something. So what is it that he, he says that he knows things? We accept, obviously, he knows things that we don't know. He is getting intel briefings. Is he going to reveal something from an intel briefing? No, no. I mean, he's going to talk about his conclusions and where, where he thinks things stand. So he's not going to reveal anything that was privileged or shared with him, classified. Mm -hmm. But I think he can share with people his, uh, his, his conclusions of the report and his understanding of the situation and make sure that people understand that there's, there's a lot of questions out there, Allison. Number one, look at what happened in April of 2015. The Chinese stole millions of records on U.S. current and former employees, their most sensitive information that was contained in security clearance forms. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened with the White House, not mm -hmm. a single statement. And now you have an instance where there was a political activity going on. And the question is, is the response of this administration, the sanctions they yeah. put on, proportional with the activities that ha happened? And number two, is it a political response to Russia yeah. or is it a diplomatic response? Because we haven't seen these kind of sanctions in peacetime in our history. Sean, just to correct you, you say not a single statement was ever issued or made after the Chinese hacking. I have the statement right here in my hands. This is from September 2015. President Obama said, quote, we are preparing a number of measures that will indicate to the Chinese that this is not just a matter of us being mildly upset, but it is something that we will put significant will put significant strains on the bilateral relationship if not resolved. He uh, went on to say we are prepared to take countervailing actions in order to get their attention. So there were statements. Issued, there were, no, he did answer that. The activity occurred in April of 2015. And what you're saying is, what, uh -huh. six months later, he made comments about it when asked? Uh -huh. That's very different than the activity that they're going through right now. The White House is being very... Well, let me give you yep. another piece of information. He, the President of the United States says in September, he, quote, told Vladimir Putin to, quote, uh -huh. knock it off. If he knew then that there was activity going on, why didn't they yeah. act? Was it because sure. of a political reason that they thought Hillary Clinton was going to win and they thought, why address uh -huh. this now? It's only until Donald Trump won that they seem to want to react to Russia. But Sean, I'm more interested in what Mr. Trump is going to do than what we're not. We're not electing President well, Obama again, <clears throat> but you are representing Mr. Trump. So if Mr. Trump, if the conclusion is that in fact Russia and Vladimir Putin were behind yep. the DNC hacks and tried to meddle in the U.S. election, what will Mr. Trump do about it? He will meet with his team take their recommendations and make a conclusion based on that as to what a proportional response should and could be. And what be. does that but, look like? But it, how can you tell me, ask me what it looks like when we don't even have a final report? Because you must be, be planning for that possibility. No, the way that, look, the, the idea that you should be talking about the conclusion or the actions that you're going to take on a conclusion that's not final yet is unbelievably irresponsible. Wait the minute, report Sean. is not, no, no, hold on. The report's not final. He has not been briefed by the heads of the intelligence community yet, and you're asking me what his response should be. He has Think not about been that. briefed that... by the heads of the intelligence community about whether or not they believe that Russia is behind the hack. No, they're coming in later this week to do that. And so the idea that you're asking me, and neither is the president of the United States, frankly, because the conclu the report isn't final. Yep. So the idea that you're asking anybody what the what their reaction uh -huh. should be to a non-final report uh -huh. is unbelievable. Wait, hold I on, just don't Sean. get it. No, 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 not hold on. Sean. The idea that we are asking people mm -hmm. and making assumptions on a report that's mm -hmm. not final is unbelievable. Okay, so in other words, 
uh, Lindsey Graham and Senator John McCain are also unbelievable and irresponsible. Since they're, they're not the ones who instituted the sanctions, it's the president of the United States. They're planning that did it. hearings about it. They believe these exactly. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. Briefed. Hold on. Listen to what you just said. They're planning hearings. Mm -hmm. They are actually trying to get it right. Listen to what's going on. Get the intelligence, and then come to a conclusion. Wait a minute. That's actually Sean, the right way to go. They hold have. They have stated that they believe that Russia is behind this. That's why they're holding the hearings. I understood. They believe something, then they're having a hearing to get more information, uh -huh. and then coming to a conclusion. That's what we believe should happen. Yeah. Understand all of the information, uh -huh. get all of it, get briefed, make sure the report is final, get the intelligence community to brief us on that, right. and then come to a conclusion. And you're not going to make any plan. You guys aren't even having conversations about the possibility. I know possibility. this is frustrating for you that we're doing it in a logical way. But no, we are <laughs> going to actually get all the information, uh -huh. get briefed properly, and then make a decision. We're not going to put the cart before the horse. And then Mr. Trump's going to speak with his team and decide something. Yes. Sean? <laughs> Sean? I know that you...